All right, so time to start doing some curls again for the biceps. Haven't done any bicep curls in a while. It's been about, might be eight months now. Or seven months. Yeah, it might have been seven months. Can't remember. That's how long it's been. All right, so this is a strict curl form. You can see here, strict curls. Strict curls are good. This is the semi-cheat curl form. Keeping constant tension on the bicep. And these are cheat curls. We don't want to do any cheat curls. We want the semi cheat curl. I think it's better than the full cheat curl. So what I'm doing is uh just starting out easy. I'm doing I'm I'm doing three sets of fifteen here with an easy weight. I think it's about ninety pounds. So Three sets of 15, semi cheat curl form. Keeping constant tension on the bicep, and believe it or not, seems to be uh, an effective exercise. Yeah, so if you're doing your heavy rows and heavy pull ups, weighted pull ups, and all that, this is a good uh, icing on a cake exercise and might even be a, a good main exercise for the biceps. Curls alone do build biceps. You could do it either way. You could do it with a uh, heavy compound lifting or with a uh, barber curl. But when you give this uh, with this semi cheap curl form, it kind of turns it into a heavy compound exercise. Because you know your body's uh, there's a little movement in your body. You know shoulders and back are helping out a little bit. And I think the semi cheat curl form is gives the right amount of cheat to work, still work the biceps primarily. So if you cheat too much, you're gonna bring the back in too much. You're gonna bring everything, shoulders and all that in too much. You don't want that. All right, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.